Global Shared Socioeconomic Pathways, or SSPs, used in assessments of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, are five different storylines that describe how the global economy and society might evolve over the next 80 years. Crucially, the global SSPs are independent of climate change and climate change policy. They do not consider the potential impact climate change has on societal and economic choices. Instead, they are designed to be coupled with a set of future climate scenarios, known as the Representative Concentration Pathways, or RCPs. The SSPs and RCPs can be used together to assess climate change risks and vulnerabilities. They also provide the challenging context within which future decisions on climate mitigation and adaptation must be developed and implemented. For the UK, a set of climate scenarios aligned with the global RCPs has been produced by the Met Office, known as the UK Climate Projections 2018. We have produced UK versions of the shared socioeconomic pathways, which we refer to as UK SSPs. These can be combined with the UK climate projections by research and policy communities for exploring future climate change risk and resilience within the UK. Four products have been produced for the UK SSPs. Qualitative narratives describing UK societal development this century. System diagrams showing the interrelationships between socioeconomic drivers within the narratives. Tables of semi-quantitative trends specifying relative directions and magnitudes of change for the 50 socioeconomic indicators and spatially explicit quantifications of trends for 25 indicators. In this video, we will introduce each of these products and how they can be used by research and policy communities. The UK SSPs were co-created with a wide range of stakeholders, covering the four UK nations and a range of sectors. 14 key driver categories were identified by stakeholders as being particularly important and uncertain for determining the socio-economic development of the UK over this century. These include drivers related to how different UK regions are governed and how international relationships are shaped. Several driver categories covered key aspects of societal characteristics such as demography, social structure, public attitudes and access to education and good healthcare. The nature of economic development and technology were also identified as important drivers that may influence future societal development, as well as shaping the development and use of the strategic sectors of energy, transport, food and natural resources. Finally, how the UK responds to global shocks was recognised as an important driver for triggering novel transitions in socio-economic development. Following identification of the 14 driver categories, narratives were developed for each UK SSP by deliberating likely events and how they may arise over time through the interaction of the drivers. This enabled broad lines of development to be elaborated for a range of sectors, such as urban, water, agriculture, health, energy and transport in the four nations of the UK. The final UK SSP narratives are five to six pages in length and consist of an abstract, a description of socio-economic developments for the UK over three time periods and sections on differences in socio-economic developments in each of the four UK nations. The time periods considered by the narratives are from the present to 2040, 2040 to 2070 and from 2070 to 2100. System diagrams are also available that show a graphical representation of the scenario narrative highlighting the interrelationships between important socio-economic drivers. The detailed information in the narratives and system diagrams can be used by researchers and polity communities in qualitative studies or for providing context to further quantifications needed by modelling communities. They can also be used as the basis for further spatial or sectoral elaboration if needed for local case studies. UK SSP1, the sustainability scenario, describes a world where the UK is a sustainable, egalitarian and cooperative society transitioning to a fully functional circular economy. This leads to healthier lifestyles, improved well-being, sustainable use of natural resources and more stable and fair international relations. It represents a scenario with a low carbon economy and high capacity to adapt to climate change. UK SSP2, the middle of the road scenario, is a world in which strong public-private partnerships enable moderate economic growth, but inequalities persist. 
It represents highly regulated society that continues to rely on fossil fuels, but with gradual increases in renewable energy, resulting in intermediate adaptation and mitigation challenges. UK SSP3, the regional rivalry scenario, describes the most dystopian future. It shows how increasing social and economic barriers may trigger international tensions, nationalisation in key economic sectors, job losses, and eventually a highly fragmented society with the UK breaking apart. It represents a society where rivalry between regions and barriers to trade entrench reliance on fossil fuels and limit capacity to adapt to climate change. UK SSP4, the inequality scenario, is a society dominated by business and political elites who curtail welfare policies and exclude the majority of the UK population from decision-making. The elite facilitate low-carbon economies, resulting in low challenges to climate mitigation, but large differences in income across segments of UK society limit the ability of the masses to adapt to climate change. UK SSP5, the fossil fuel development scenario, shows the UK transitioning to a highly individualistic society, where the majority become wealthier through the exploitation of natural resources, combined with high economic growth. It represents a technologically advanced world, with a strong economy that is heavily dependent on fossil fuels, but with a high capacity to adapt to the impacts of climate change. The five scenarios have very different outcomes for the UK that can be further investigated, particularly by modelling teams. To use the UK SSPs in modelling studies of climate, risk, resilience and vulnerability, a link is needed to connect the complexity of the qualitative narratives to the parameterization needs of impact models. This link is provided through semi-quantitative trends, which summarise the relative direction and magnitude of changes in 50 socio-economic variables. The trends cover a wide range of indicators in five categories – society, technology, economy and lifestyle, environment and policy and institutions. For each indicator, semi-quantitative trends are provided in seven categories, from strong decrease to strong increase for all five UK SSPs, and for three periods, from present to 2040, 2040 to 2070, and 2070 to 2100. The trends are consistent with the narratives and the global SSP database. The source and rationale for each trend is provided to help understanding and interpretation by modelling teams. Here we show one example for the level of overall consumption by UK society. In UK SSP1, switched welfare economics and sustainable lifestyles leads to a relatively strong and continuous decrease in material consumption. Whilst in UK SSP2, society continues to consume unsustainably but this stabilises due to limited increases in purchasing power. In UK SSP3, material consumption rapidly decreases as barriers to trade limit the availability of goods and food, eventually leading to food shortages and malnutrition. In UK SSP4, there is an initial increase in the demand for goods and food, but as society becomes more unequal over time, an increasing share of the population has less and less purchasing power and access to opportunities. By contrast, UK SSB5 is strongly driven by a consumeristic society and high economic growth, so we see both availability and demand increasing substantially. A number of sectoral indicators have been quantified and spatially disaggregated for each scenario, which can be used directly as inputs to climate change impact models. These indicators were selected and prioritised through a range of stakeholder consultations. Projections have been created at a range of spatial resolutions, depending on what was most appropriate for the indicator, and for every decade between 2020 to 2100. Various models and process-based methods were used to create the projections using the best available, most recent and spatially disaggregated historical data. These include integrated assessment models, a macroeconometric model, an agent-based model of land use change, and a global food trade model. For some indicators, the projection trends were created using an iterative process with stakeholder input. The approach ensured consistency with the global SSP projections available from the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis. 
The new UK SSP quantitative projections are based on the UK scenario narratives and reflect changing spatial patterns, such as increasing or decreasing regional disparities or differing trends between urban and rural areas of the UK. The projections are provided in the form of data tables, graphs and maps. UK SSP1 and UK SSP5 both have high levels of public provision indicators such as education, R&D, health, healthcare and social cohesion with reduced regional disparities. In UK SSP1, for example, the share of people with tertiary education increases from 45% in 2020 to 75% in 2100, while its standard deviation across areas decreases from 7.8 to 0.5. A similar picture emerges in UK SSP5. In contrast, the dystopian UK SSP3 scenario and the inequality scenario of UK SSP4 have comparatively low levels for these indicators. In UK SSP3, for example, the number of GPs per 100,000 capita decreases from 66 in 2020 to 7 in 2100. In UK SSP2, most socio-economic indicators have levels that are somewhere between UK SSPs 1 and 3. While UK SSP 1 and UK SSP 5 both have reduced inequalities and high living standards, the underlying drivers are very different. UK SSP 5 is based on massive exploitation of fossil fuels, an almost doubling of the population from 66 million to 128 million by 2100, a nearly eight-fold increase in GDP levels and a substantial urban sprawl. By contrast, prosperity in UK SSP1 is much less materialistic and GDP levels only increase to roughly half of the SSP5 level. Public spending on infrastructure reflects the individualistic nature of transport in UK SSP5, with the road infrastructure more than tripling, while the rail infrastructure increases by only 62% on average. Contrary to this, we see rail infrastructure more than tripling in UK SSP1, while road infrastructure increases by only 37% on average, as the UK government invests heavily in low-carbon public transport. A central feature of UK SSP4 is rising inequality. In 2020, incomes of the wealthiest 20% of the population are five times higher than those of the least wealthy 20%. By 2100, the incomes of the top 20% become 50 times higher than those of the bottom 20%. This leads to low levels of social cohesion and low rates of socio-economic development, particularly in rural areas. You can access all UK SSP products online on the UK Climate Resilience website. You can also explore each UK SSP scenario through an interface based on the system diagrams that describe the relationships between the drivers within each UK SSP. The interface provides graphical and mapped representations of the 25 quantitative indicators, as well as access to the associated datasets. The interface can be accessed online without registration, providing an accessible platform for a wide range of audiences. Users can browse scenario-specific information, graphs and maps in an intuitive way by clicking through UK SSPs, drivers and causal relationships. The rich combination of qualitative and quantitative information that is available for the UK SSPs provides a key resource for research and policy communities to explore plausible socio-economic futures for the UK. The quantitative socio-economic projections can be combined with the UK Climate Projections 2018 by modelling communities to simulate climate change risks and vulnerabilities and, importantly, assess the robustness and resilience of climate change adaptation and mitigation actions. Music